So I guess you're here because you want to write better or you're interested in Grammarly or you want to know if the premium plan is worth it. I'll be answering all three questions today in this video. So this is app.grammarly.com. You get this once you've downloaded Grammarly. To do that, simply go to trailstainfingers.com slash Grammarly. You'll find the link in the video description below. So once you've done that, you have this page where you can open up a demo document. They give you a ready document to edit so that you get to know the functionality and uh, get familiar with how Grammarly works. But you can always delete the text and replace it with your own, which is what I have done. So this is how it looks. You get an overall score for your text. And here are the alerts for correctness, clarity, engagement and delivery. So mine is pretty good because I've already made the corrections. So let's put a few errors here and there so that Grammarly can begin working. Even the best of us, we make mistakes when we write. And it's always nice to have a little grammar angel on our shoulders letting us know where we're going wrong. So it's very simple to make the corrections. Grammarly tells you what and why. And you just have to click and you accept the correction. So this is how it works. So you get most of this in the free version, but in the premium plan, you can also check for plagiarism, which could be very useful if you're getting content from external sources, other writers. And this is my favorite feature in the premium plan. You can tell Grammarly uh, about your audience, what tone you want to adopt, what kind of content you're crafting. And accordingly, Grammarly will tailor the corrections and suggestions. Uh, there's also a desktop Grammarly app. It's a free add-on. Once you've downloaded it, you get an icon on your desktop and you open it up and the interface is exactly the same as the Chrome extension. So what I just showed you is the browser extension. I'm using Chrome here, but you can also download Grammarly for Firefox and Safari. Um, there's also Grammarly for Word. It's another free add-on and it could be very useful if you do the bulk of your writing on Word. And it's very easy to see the corrections here. You can look at them and see what you want to change. The functionality is the same. A click of a button and you've implemented the change. Even if you're not a professional writer, Grammarly can come in useful when you're drafting emails or writing on social media. So let's take a look. This is the Grammarly icon at work and it's got both errors. I made a spelling mistake here. This is a grammatical error. So that's how it works. You can also use it when you're writing on social media. Grammarly got both errors. Grammarly definitely does a lot more than the native uh, Microsoft Word spell checker. As you can see here, there are so many classes of corrections that you can get. And word checker doesn't work everywhere the way Grammarly does. Um, what I suggest is that you go for a free plan first and see how it works for you. And when you're ready, you get an option here to upgrade your plan. There's a Grammarly for business and a Grammarly premium for individuals. So this is what the payment looks like. And when you consider that it's $30 a month, then it's really steep. But now this is the great offer that they have currently. If you pay for an entire year, you get Grammarly for less than $12 a month, which is completely worth the investment. So I don't think you should delay. 
Go for the free version immediately, try it out and upgrade when you're ready. You also get a comparison on this page on Grammarly Free versus Premium. I've included links for both uh, Grammarly Free and Premium in the video description, so feel free to browse through after you're done watching this video. And if you found it useful and if you want more tips on travel and writing, then hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and happy writing.